Hello YouTubers, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Lario. Uh, today we're going to be installing a custom radio into this, uh, into the, my car actually. It's a uh, 2000 Mitsubishi Eclipse GT. Uh, when I purchased the car, it did already have one radio in here and um, uh, there was no brackets, not even aftermarket brackets, not even plastic ones. The uh, uh, the stock brackets were thrown out by the uh, the previous owner. I don't know why, but uh, yeah, I didn't have. I couldn't find the uh, the original brackets that go with this model. But uh, I ended up buying a aftermarket. Now I'm gonna be in, uh, installing it. Give me a second. Okay, I'm gonna be installing this bracket. I ended up purchasing this one from uh, eBay. And it's really not not that bad, you know. They could have they could have made it a little bit better, but you know, Chinese brands. What do you expect? All right, uh, let's get started. Uh, give me a minute while I set up, and gather the the tools that I need for this installation. All right, give me a minute, people. Give me a minute. Be right back. Now this is the finished product. Right here it is ready to be installed. As you can see this goes with uh, fits various models of the Mitsubishi uh, and I believe it will also fit the uh, uh, the Chrysler Sebrings also which they also have more more or less the same design dash as you can see here that's the good thing about some of these cars that they were uh, same design were laid up in different cars and uh, makes uh, the prices for parts a lot a lot cheaper I believe a lot a lot more cheaper than than uh, BMW <laughs> but I'm gonna install I'm gonna install this radio this is a uh, an Alpine IDA X305S which also has capability of flash drive, as you can see back here. It doesn't have it in the front. I, you know, I had one Pioneer that it had the uh, the flash drive was up front, and I had installed a flash drive that was like an inch and a half, more or less like two inches, sticking out from the front, like so. I waved my hand across the dash like this and forget it. It's uh, the flash drive was ruined <laughs> so um, I went back and uh, this particular model has been through like four different cars a Volkswagen Jetta that's a 20 uh, 2011 and uh, three uh, Honda Accords and it never has said no to me that's why I rather you know I'm gonna end up sticking this one this one is an excellent radio Plus, it's not, uh, this is not a CD radio. Let's put it right there for a moment. This is not a CD radio. It's just a digital uh, receiver. It's a faceplate. comes off, which is fits in your pocket nice and neat. It's got good bass. It's got good sound in it. Okay, so let's continue. I'm going to end up putting... Uh, Putting the radio in, into that plastic bracket. Let's see how we're gonna do this. Uh, I do not think I'm gonna need the uh, uh, the cage, which is actually this part. I try to always always stay away from this. Oh, what's going on with my camera today? It's like freezing up on me. It's probably the heat. It's kind of like hot and humid today here in New York. So I'm gonna try to stay away from using this thing. Okay, running with one hand here, so bear with me. Now, let's see how, if I could actually stay away from using that. Okay, okay, spacing. Well, I think I'm gonna have to use it because of, uh, as you can see here, very closely, there's a ledge right here all around it, including here. 
here all around it there's a ledge so I'm gonna end up putting the cage back onto the radio and uh, we're gonna take it from there okay okay I just put the uh, the cage back on we're gonna see how it fits now it should be a tighter fit actually look at this right over the ledge nice okay we're gonna leave the cage there plus it provide more security being that this radio uh, this plastic bracket you can see closely here there's only one screw that's aligned that's why really I don't like the aftermarket brackets they really they do not secure your radio the way you, you need to be as you can see here there's only one screw all right plus we're gonna be working on the wires um, let me see where's the screws there's one is like incredible doing this in one hand I gotta get a, a something to hold the camera see Maybe we can put it here yeah perfect okay put one screw tighten it down let's go to the second one I'm trying to keep the camera as steady as possible, but I got to keep shifting back and forth. And it's like, there's the second screw on the other side. Okay, it's like, it's snug. All right, uh, hey. <laughs> this is a noob work. People, check it out. <laughs> yeah, put the radio upside down. <laughs> Actually, this part is supposed to be on this side. Give me a second. Let me recover from this. Not good, man. Not good. This is it's probably the heat in here in New York. Okay, now, now we're set up. Then it's still only just one screw lines up. Only one. Only one screw. But I guess that uh, the cage itself is probably, you know... This is an important part in this setup because it's reinforcing this, the installation. Only one screw. All right, let's get this, this thing out of here. I already installed a, a, uh, an amp in the back, which uh, these are the wires. I gotta work around this part right here. And um, this car, which is the, the GT model, it comes with a with a factory amp, and this is the wire that leads to that. So that's another thing I I had to do some research on. This is the aftermarket plug, which actually this goes connected to your aftermarket radio, and I believe this is the power plant uh, remote, the blue wire. And uh, yeah, this goes connected in here. I'm gonna do this in one hand. Incredible. I gotta get some something to hold up my camera. All right, that's set up. All right. Now, when it came across this wire right here, this is the for the uh, uh, the radio connector. There's only like four wires here. More than likely, it's just power. No speaker wires because it's got the it's got an uh, a factory amp. I did my research and uh, uh, was able to get this plug, which this one goes connected to this plug right here, and uh, this one, the wires go connected to the factory, not the factory, but the aftermarket radio plug, which is this one, which I got to do all this rewiring now. As you can see the color codes right here there's greens there's grays and uh there should be some whites and purples here here they go the whites and purples remember that okay here it goes this is the aftermarket plug radio that goes connected here as you can see here same color codes greens purples grays and whites 
got the product plus the power that's the antenna remote and amp okay we're missing one here where's the black one I don't see it eh, I don't see the ground uh oh okay I guess the ground I'm gonna have to run it directly from uh, the radio itself hey this thing is supposed to have a ground wire but I work with it though it's really no big deal um, okay yeah probably came out I see that this thing is like this is what you call aftermarket is really cheap cheap assembly but I'm gonna continue with this I'm gonna end up wiring uh, doing this wiring right here right to this plug uh, accordingly to power because really I do not need the speakers I'm gonna end up um, uh, taping up all these all these uh, green purples and whites and gray wires uh, with tape like you see here I'm gonna end up taping them up all right give me a second well today I came a little bit prepared um, as you can see this is not tape this is a uh, heat shrink tubes which I'm gonna be adding uh, adding to the wires themselves okay keep them protected and keep them from making any contact I'm gonna add each one uh, especially the ones that I really need I'm gonna add um okay nice and cool all right let me continue on to the next one Okay, now I got some of the wires set up here. As you can see, uh, I had to, wait a minute, okay. Oh, there's one wire I missed on. Okay. Yep, there's one wire I messed up on. All right, give me a second. I'm gonna redo this part over here. See this blue wire? This is the remote starter for the amp. Uh, actually, this wire is supposed to be over here. Okay, another new mistake. All right, I believe I got it right now. You see, this plug goes attached to uh, the Alpine, the one that I'm installing. Now, this is the remote power. With this lead right here is the one that runs up to the uh, the secondary power amp, which is in the back. This one is not providing anything, anything as far as power, which matter of fact, I don't even know why I connected this wire here, but it does look like somewhat like a spider's web over here. Uh, see this one, this lead will run to the factory amp, which will power it on. But I'm gonna leave it like that because I'm already, it's getting toasty out here. It's supposed to be going up to 95, I believe. Uh, here in New York, so I'm gonna try to, to hasten this this work. Uh, I don't believe I have anything else to do here. Just the ground wire, this ground wire that's in here. This one I'm gonna end up attaching that to the radio. All right. Okay, my wiring is all ready. I'm gonna just start connecting up, as you can see here. Attach it to the Y plug of the factory. Okay, got that together. And I also did the ground wire. Okay. And got the power set up already. All right. Okay, let me go retrieve the radio. We're going to do a test run here now. Really no way of doing this with one hand. Connect this part here. Okay. All right, now, where's the, okay, that's this one. This is the four channel amp, if I'm correct. This is the, uh, the aftermarket plug for the factory amp, which I believe purple and green will be on top. white and grays on the bottom 
down on the bottom, in the middle, with the the lower plugs down here, the RCA plugs right here, these are the base. These, there's two of them down here. This is the front, rear, and base. Now we should have some some music. Let's, let's check it. It should be not with the factory amp, not with the um, with the aftermarket. I mean the <laughs> The power plant that I installed. Turn on the ignition a minute. Okay, I might have to do a quick setup here. All right, we got life. It's reading the US, the flash drive. Yeah, we got life. Okay, I'm not getting no sound. No sound people, no sound whatsoever right now. So let me see what's going on here. Okay. Let's see where's my fault at. The power plant should have turned on. This is uh, the remote right here. So she should have powered on. Plus. Well, I did finally figure out what I was doing wrong. Uh, you see this wire right here. For some reason, it's not sending on any current. It might be for the antenna. Uh, I really cannot see the other wire listings that are right here. Up here, there's more listings here. I believe that the powers, power setups are up here in this, in this label. So I couldn't actually see which one is this one, but I did get it. Hold on. I did get to power it on. Now the factory amp and the base amp in the back is, is powering on. So now I'm just gonna finish off this wire set here. And it sounds pretty good right now even though she's nice and low. Okay. Let me continue with this so we can finish this radio off. Okay, now I'm gonna need to connect the antenna wire, which is this one in the car. This one right here. Grab the uh okay, let's see what we do this. This way the radio works. I think we're ready, we're good to go.
like this uh, this uh, the plastic installation that it came with a bezel so we're gonna actually check to see how it fits in there um, let's see what's the other screw this why I, I want to get out of here it's getting too warm out here now Last but not least, hmm. okay, if I'm correct, uh, this goes in here, like so, kind of like loose, huh? Let's put on. Put this on temporarily, see how it looks. Hey, it's not bad, not bad at all. But being that I rather prefer the uh, the factory uh, brackets because they're a little more stiffer and more secure for your radio. Okay, everything is set in there, nice. Except this doesn't look right, it's like. No. What can you expect? This is uh, yeah, something in here is not set up. See what's going on. Well, it is set. Alright, I guess we're gonna leave it as that. to do now is just uh, disconnect my hazards which is not connected as yet and uh, one screw here and one there one down here there it is people now this right here this is the voltage meter I added to it due to some other problem uh, that the car was having on the ground uh, this I'm gonna be redoing it also the uh, which I'm gonna do that later on cheap uh, aftermarket uh, installation kit is pretty good now um, this I bring uh, some wires here in reference so this way you get to see what I meant about the color codes as you can see this one goes in a Honda Accord uh, I believe it's a 97 model that this one came for as you can see there's purple greens whites grays plus the uh, the remote power the yellow and the brown I believe that's for the light dimmer now let's go and look at a different one this one is for a Volkswagen Jetta 2011 aftermarket now take a look at this same wire sequence purple uh, this greens grays whites the power which is this yellow one and Right, this is the one that installs on. And which radio did this one go for? I, I really don't remember, but I know that this setup is for a Volkswagen Jetta, a 2011 model. That just goes to reference when it comes to the color codes. You shouldn't be confused when it comes to installing to connecting one of these to your to your uh, your aftermarket radio plug. And this end right here goes to the factory plug of the of the car. But remember, this is not for this car. This is for a Volkswagen Jetta, and, and I only bring them just in reference, so this way you can see uh, the similarities when it comes to installing a, a custom radio into your stock, you know, your stock factory wiring. This way, you do not have to cut 
any of the factory wiring that's in there please make it easier for yourself because later on in life if you want to sell the car and you still have the factory radio you can install it with no problems whatsoever that's why i'd rather do it that way soon i'm gonna have um uh matter of fact i gotta do uh it's like a reversal of the uh, the guy and is gonna end up selling out his uh, his Camry, so we're gonna be switching out the Pioneer that that was installed in his car that I installed, and uh, we're gonna put it back to stock. So this way, he could get you know sell the car with the stock radio and the and do the next owner a favor by leaving the brackets in there. The brackets are important. As you can see, I had to install this this one right here, which this is not uh, factory, but it is it's doing is it'll do its job temporarily until I get new brackets in here. Uh, I haven't been able to find them as yet. But uh, thank you for watching. If you like the video, uh, please leave any comments that you have uh, concerning the installation. Any questions? Feel free to ask. I'm always available. Um, and please subscribe. Like I said, please subscribe. Um, I'm always, uh, you know, I've, I've been a little bit busy recently with the wifey and everything and the new apartment, but uh, yeah, yeah, um, I'm going to be uploading some other videos uh, soon. Okay, stay tuned, people, and thanks again for visiting my channel. Thank you. Take care, fellas. All right, later, man. We're hitting the road now, hitting the road.